We're going to put a little spin on today's video. This is Raymond Jones. This is Joe Bell's husband, and I'm going to be narrating the video today. Look at those beautiful ingredients. Joe Bell made this for lunch, and I have to say that I was pleasantly surprised at how delicious it was when she told me she was going to make hot dog fried rice. So first of all, you see there, she coated the bottom of the pan with oil, swirled it around so it was evenly distributed. And now we've got the hot dogs. You see some of the uh, hot dogs are red. Uh, these are pure beef hot dogs. The, the lighter colored ones are pure beef hot dogs. The red colored ones are sweet hot dogs. Uh, kind of a Filipino style hot dog. Um, added a nice extra dimension to the fried rice, which I found quite pleasing. And you can see here that Joe Bell is distributing the hot dogs evenly across the bottom of the pan to make sure that they are cooked evenly. And uh, you'll see here in just a couple seconds that uh, when we flip them over, they're nice and brown. Uh, gives it that nice texture once they're cooked. Joe Bell is a fantastic cook. I have the pleasure of eating this food almost on a daily basis. I try not to eat too much because, uh, you know, it, you, you don't want to get too fat. So here we got some garlic. We're going to throw that into the oil. You can see Joe Bell has pushed the hot dogs to one side and making room for other ingredients, being very efficient with the use of the frying pan, not using more than one frying pan, which saves time once it comes time to do the dishes. So the aroma is drifting throughout the house. I'm about, uh, I don't know, 50 yards away from her at this point, and I can smell it, and it's delicious. So now we're adding the white, fluffy rice that has already been cooked, as you can see. And the hot dogs and the rice are in the same frying pan now, and she's going to give, give it a nice stir and uh, press it down so it gets a little fry going on, uh, on some of the rice. Um, the grains of rice and I believe in a second here Joe Bell is gonna mix the hot dogs in with the rice if you haven't tried this I strongly suggest just follow the recipe the description will have all the ingredients and the measurements in there um, it's easy it's quick it's inexpensive and it's delicious and it goes a long way it can feed a lot of people it's very filling very delicious and uh, it's, it's a uh, family favorite of, of ours now. So here we go. Now we're getting, we're getting busy with the hot dogs, mixing in with the rice. And now we're going to throw some peas in there. Peas are my favorite part of fried rice. Um, these are frozen peas. I believe you can go ahead and use canned peas if you like. The frozen peas, for me, believe it or not taste a little fresher so they're going to nap thaw here in the heat and they're going to get mixed around while the hot dogs and the rice are frying up nicely and there we go now it's starting to look like some fried rice that looks delicious ladies and gentlemen joe bell has done it again if you were here in the house smelling this you would be your mouth would be watering we got a little uh, onion powder um, I would say I don't know three or four shakes of onion powder if that's an, a measurement I'm not sure uh, black pepper to taste for me I like quite a bit of black pepper and I think the amount that she put in was was perfect um, I didn't have to add any seasoning to this oh I take that back I added a little bit of soy sauce to it when it was done and it was delicious. Uh, feel free to add your your uh, own seasoning at the end, but uh, this tastes delicious just the way it is, straight out of the pan. You get the sweetness from those red hot dogs. You get great texture from the the fry that's on the on the meat, the hot, the two different hot dogs. Um, the texture from the rice, the cooked rice was perfect. It was perfectly cooked. Um, and now we're going to garnish it 
with chopped fresh scallions, a staple, and ladies and gentlemen, there it is. If you take a look at the description, you're going to love it. It's easy. This has been Raymond Jones. Have a good one.